Hi all class, are you ready for some counting? Today we're still thinking of those numbers that we've been practicing this week. Six, seven and eight. Let's have a look at our first job though. When you see the domino, tell me how many spots as quickly as you can. What did you say for that one? Four, well done. How many? Did you remember? Five. Good. Three. Well done. Hmm. You might have to count these. There's two on one side, isn't there? And there's four on the other. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you get that? Okay. Today, we're going to have a game of pairs. When you play pairs, you have to find two cards that belong together. Two cards that are the same, not different. Two cards that show the same amount. OK, let's have a little look. So let's just compare these two cards. Let's look at this one here with a dice on. How many spots are on the dice? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many pieces of fruit are in the bags? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so this card is a seven and this card is a six. No. They're not the same, they're different, so we can't have those, no. Let's try these two. So we've just counted the fruit, was it seven? Hmm, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's count the Numicon shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this uh, card and this card can go together. Seven pieces of fruit, seven spots on the Numicon. Yay! Let's try these two cards. Let's do the domino first. So we've got five over here and one more is six all together. So this card is Six. And how many is this card showing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, no, that's not a pair. Let's try again. Um, okay, the domino was six, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. And the dice, I think that's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we've got another pair. Off they go. Right, let's try these. Uh, okay, let's do the tens frame and count the counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, remember eight. Um, okay, let's count the pencils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that was our last pair. Both cards represented number eight. So here's your job for maths at home today. You're going to have a go at playing this game of pairs with a grown-up or a brother or a sister, somebody that lives with you in your house. And what you've got to do is, first of all, you've got to make your own cards. So some cards will have something to do with six. Some cards will have seven. And some cards will have pictures of something that adds up to eight. So six, seven, and eight and then turn them over and put them down on a table or on the floor 
and then take it in turns to choose two of the cards and turn them over. <gasps> and if they go together, yes, you keep those cards. And then it's your uh, mum's turn or your brother's turn, whoever you play the game with. Okay, have fun and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.